والأنهار وأمت الأزهار تزخرف الجبال من ينشر الصباح ويرسل الرياح ويملأ البطاح برزقه الحالة الله Wow. Before I became a Muslim, I was not a very conservative person. I was not, I was not a very good person. Uh, I modeled for Playboy. I did that for about five years, and during that time, um, I, I did a lot of drugs. And I thought, oh, I can do meth, and I won't get addicted because I'm just using it as a, as a weight loss helper. And, you know, I, I'll just use it every once in a while to just keep myself from eating so much. Yeah, right. I thought I was strong enough to not get addicted to a drug that absolutely addicts basically everyone who uses it. So I started doing meth, and I would probably give it a couple weeks, and then I got really addicted to it, and I did it all day and all night for five years. And it really brought me to a place of complete rock bottom. And my husband at that time had been doing it with me and he started getting violent with me and I was afraid for my life. So uh, I decided to quit. I decided that that's not what I wanted for my life. And I told him, I said, I'm going to quit. And he laughed at me and he said, yeah, right, you're not going to quit. And I said, you know what? I'm going to quit. I quit that day cold turkey. Never again looked back. I didn't have any type of rehab, no outside help, no support system. I had my husband laughing at me and trying to get me to do it again. After that, I had my little boy. This is my daddy. And he's my best friend in the whole wide world. And that's something I never thought was going to happen. But now that it has, I love him so much. Once you become involved in Islam, the true and correct and pure Islam, you understand what the truth is. He's reaching the point now, I've, I've had conversations with him about it, trying to show him what true Islam is, and that it's not what he's seen on the news, it's not what he thinks it is. So I've been working with him, trying to show it to him piece by piece, and he's now finally starting to, he's finally starting to come around and, and have some acceptance towards me about it. I'm really looking forward to So it's only my first week and a half of, um, of being Muslim, so I obviously don't know any Arabic yet. And, you know, I try to read the Quran and I have the translation, I have it in Arabic, I have it uh, in the Arabic written language for Americans, and then I also have it in English. So pretty much the only thing I really know how to say in Arabic that I can recognize and understand is in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, which is Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Other than that, I'm learning. Tabara Kalazi Nazala Furkana Allah Ab Dihil Mia Kuna Ril Alamina Nazira Alazi Lahu Mukuza Mawati Wal Arzi Walam Yatakis Waladan Mwa Lam Yaku Lahu Sharinkun Dilmuki Wa Kalakwa Kula Shayin Fakwadara Hu Takdira.
<laughs> that was difficult. I sound like a three-year-old learning to read. <laughs> uh, actually, a lot of people ask me if I'm 100% sure in my decision because they think, oh, you know, she never said anything about this before, so this must be just the decision she just made on the fly, something temporary. You know, she'll, it's just a phase. She'll go through it, and she'll be, you know, back to Jamie in the short skirts. And I wouldn't have made the decision to convert if I wasn't absolutely, positively, without a doubt, sure that this was the right decision, sure that this is the truth. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have fallen in love with it. Now that I've converted to Islam, I want to help uh, change the face of what people see Islam to be. I want to show people that Muslims are caring, we're friendly, we're nice people, we care about our neighbors, we care about the people around us. And if people see more Muslims behaving that way, we can change people's opinions. I, I think that that's really the path I'm supposed to take right now. And however I'm meant to do that is, you know, that's a cool off. They'll tell me. But I would also like to learn everything about Islam and hopefully one day be able to use it to speak to women and speak to Muslim women and help them and teach them and guide them. I think that that's an important thing to do. Now that I'm a Muslim, the things that I see for the truth, the things that I can see for real, mean more to me than anything I've ever done. And if I can help a single person feel what I feel inside, my life would be complete. So, as long as I'm here, I will do everything I can to help everyone see the truth. And that's what I think is my job.